the troubled TV star has struggled with alcohol and substance abuse at various points throughout her career, but is determined to get herself on the straight and narrow once more. Despite successfully managing to remain clean for 14 years, in February on The Jeremy Kyle Show, Daniela admitted she took a line of cocaine about eight weeks ago. Funded by Jetsa, the 45-year-old recently checked into rehab, where she is expected to stay until completing her treatment in May. If everything goes to plan, the celebrity Big Brother star hopes to take on a job managing a pub in the north of England in the near future. A source told Daily Star Online, Daniela is in rehab for the next month and a half trying to overcome her demons. She is doing really well and is better than she has been in a long time. Earlier this week she got her hair professionally cut and dyed blonde ahead of Jeremy Kyle filming from inside the center. She has always been honest about her problems in the past and sees no reason to change. The insider added, the plan is to film another episode of Jetsa in a few weeks time. Once she has completed her treatment Daniela plans to move back to Liverpool. Things could change, but it looks as though she will be managing a pub in the village of Nosley by the end of May. Daniela and Jeremy have been close friends ever since she appeared on his infamous TV show back in 2012. Speaking about her darkest moments, Daniela, who used to snort 5 grams of Class A drug cocaine a day said, I didn't leave the house for 3 or 4 days at a time. I have taken many overdoses. Probably about four, all for a cry for help. The wake-up call was when I was pregnant with my daughter, by the time I was a cocaine addict, and they said to me you have four weeks to live. Daniela was left in serious financial problems due to splurging £250 a day on the substance. In 2016, Daily Star Online revealed how the actress lost her car and home just weeks before Christmas. The then 43-year-old was struck down with septicemia in August, which left her hospital bound for weeks and unable to earn any income. Daniela was left unable to pay the rent on her property and as a result she was left homeless, staying here there and everywhere, 